Hi there. In this video we're going to do some estimating. So I decided to make this video after seeing two higher level questions. In one of them from the CFE specimen paper, you're asked to find the gravitational force between two pupils. The only thing is, you're not told their masses or the distance between them. So if you had to answer that question, what do you think would be a realistic mass of a pupil? Remember this would have to be in kilograms. Well supposedly, the average mass of an adult in Europe is 75.8 kilograms. Now obviously I wouldn't expect you to get that exact value, but it would need to be in what's called the correct order of magnitude. So you'd lose marks if you used an estimate of 7 or 700 kilograms. What would you then estimate as a typical walking speed in metres per second? Supposedly, the average walking speed is around 1.4 metres per second. That's about 3.1 miles per hour. Sounds a bit too slow for me though. And finally, what about the speed of an Olympic 100 metre sprinter? This is probably easier to estimate. If the time is around about 10 seconds, then that would give an average speed of roughly 10 metres per second. Now, in a past paper question from Revised Higher, pupils had to calculate the kinetic energy of a car. What do you think the mass of a small family car would be in kilograms, remember? Around about 1,000 to 1,400 kilograms. How about its speed? Around town or on the motorway? Now, you maybe know the speed limits in miles per hour, but to calculate kinetic energy, of course, you need speed in metres per second. A speed of 30 miles per hour works out to be 13.4 metres per second, and a maximum speed of 70 miles per hour on the motorway is 31.3 metres per second. Now again, you're not expected to remember these values, but it's a good idea to note that speed in metres per second is just under half what it is in miles per hour. Finally, physicists love asking questions about apples because of the association with Isaac Newton. What do you think would be a realistic mass for an apple? Around 0.1 kilograms. Just remember the correct SI units for the quantity you're estimating or you'll almost definitely lose marks. Getting back to the original question, calculating the gravitational force between two pupils. Now I actually went round my higher class and measured the distance between pupils, although I'm afraid you'd not be allowed to do this during an exam. What distance do you think I measured? Roughly 0.5 to 0.7 metres. Now I've seen pupils estimate far shorter distances than this, because of course they've forgotten that it's from the centre of one pupil to the centre of the other, and not just from shoulder to shoulder. Now that's the end of this video for now, but if you've got any suggestions for measurements which might be of use in case an estimating question comes up, then leave it in the comments section and I can add it to an updated version in future. For now though, thanks for listening.